Max? Chloe? No oh. way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Hey everyone, it is Kiki Girl Gaming, and I am here with some more Life is Strange. I am so sorry. I've been meaning to play this game some more, and I looked on my list of videos, and I realized I have not played this for three months. Where we left off, which I actually oh, looked, cool. and I refreshed myself, um, we just spilt paint on Victoria, or, or we made it so the paint was spilled on Victoria's cashmere sweater. So now, um, I think we'll be able to get in the campus, because we have to go get that pen drive. So let's go do that, I guess. Oh, she's still there. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Ugh. Should I be nice? I guess I'll be nice. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. No. It was. But there'll be another. Sweet. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... And the go fuck your selfie. Even though that was clever. <laughs> that was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Are you gonna let me go? Wow, surprising. Victoria probably played me. No, I shouldn't have played her. I'm okay with my choice. Because if I did that, then that would have caused problems, and... Yay! Alright, so now we gotta find... My... Hurry, Courtney! Oh. <laughs> Towel. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Palm oh, Sweet Home. Awesome room. My favorite cocoon. Let's find that pen drive. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That is a cute picture though, though. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these porn makes me laugh. Mm. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Birthday. Hi, honey. Your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behavior, that you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home, even if you are all grown up now, but you are there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon to chat. We miss you. XXOO, mummy. Oh, my mummy's so nice. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. Uh, if you need it back, just track me down on my room. Does she mean Netflix? Cause... Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Can't... Like, like that's not on a pen drive. That's on a website. You can't get out now, oh. Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. That's where I need to go to. Hi, girl. I just Welcome need my to pen the real drive. drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um... Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. 
I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. I'll go to her room then. Answer, you wuss. <laughs> Can you really trust Victoria? I mean, come on. She's friggin' sleazy. I think it's interesting that they all get their own bedrooms here. Let's hack into her stuff. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I just punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana to Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Oh. Okay, print email. Could just put it on the pen drive, but oh wait, she took it. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. I got some incriminating evidence. <gasps> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. Mm. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. I don't know if people just come into my room and just, you know. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good He's guy. A, good guy. Sure. a geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? Oh, so they're just <laughs> movies. Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Letter. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this to so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act. But I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money? Let me know. Need any money? Now I feel too wiped out to leave. It would be a cool sticker without the words. For what? Oh, no, I didn't want to take it. I wanted to look at it. Shit. Wine, well, Max, wine. That's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Oh, did that jock knock her up? 
Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. I'll talk hey, to Dana. her about it. Hey, Dana. Hey, Dana. Dana. Sure. I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Shouldn't you tell me? But I saw in that letter it was some freaking quarterback. Take. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Right, calm down, Gollum. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Right. Oh, maternity book? What? Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Yeah, she didn't keep the baby, though. That's sad. Yes, Warren, Jesus. I always hit the wrong button to run. Fuck this hey, shit. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Damn, I better rewind. I told her to duck. Or scoot or get the fuck away. Warren. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, you did. Well, I've, yeah. Uh, oh, cause the window. Shit. Uh, main building, I guess. So don't oh, think I'm happening? blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Dude, what the frick? Uh, intervene? Can you back the fuck hey, up? Why would why I take a picture? Alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're, you're harassing her. Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good. Jesus. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Oh, she's so sweet. I felt like an everyday hero helping. All right. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Come on over here, please. <laughs> yes, what here's up, your friggin' How flash. You? Here's your flash. Thanks. Oh. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh, just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? Really. I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, I'll just yeah, say yeah. thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop, cultural pirate connoisseur. 
That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk, I need to, to, talk to somebody. Him. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw. Now! Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. What a dick. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! So that was uncalled for. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom. <gasps> Where is it, that friggin' security guard? Max? Chloe? No oh. way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Go! Get in, Max! God! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Okay, I forgot we saved her. Yeah, see, now the security guard comes. Come on. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Probably nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Man, are you 
this cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Us. I guess. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Oh, she smokes pot. Well, <laughs> whatever. Um. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. have my power strips on. Is that bad? Here's your CDs, girl. There we go. Oh, that's that missing girl. Oh. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. I wonder if they were together. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot you. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. And she you would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia, without a word, without me. What about her parents? What about her parents? They must know something. Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you. And Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? I'm sorry. Poor Chloe. Wait, where is the DVD thing? Right there. Hi fi. Again, this is probably copyrighted. Sweet. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, 
Are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Um, so that's gonna be the end of this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll definitely be playing this so I can actually finish it up and see what ending I'm get like I get, because I'm guessing there's more than one ending. And I've been wanting to play it, like I said, and I don't know why I stopped, but I'm gonna keep playing it and keep playing it. So don't worry, guys. I will be back, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.